Today in our 2016 Cadillac SRX, we'll be installing the Blue Ox tow bar wiring kit with four diodes, part number BX8848. In addition to the large spool of four pole flat trailer wiring, here's what the rest of the kit consists of. Obviously we have our four diode packs here to make our connections for our tail lights and our turn signal and brakes. And it'll work by having the wires for the tow vehicle go in, the factory wiring go in, and then out towards the light itself, so it will utilize the factory lighting on the vehicle. We have an additional ground cable extension here, a self-tapping screw, and a ring terminal to ground the wiring out to the body of the vehicle. We have a butt connector here to make our connections. And additionally, we have an extension cable here for the tail light going over to the right side of the vehicle and the right turn signal and brake light. Finally, we have this nice connector here, which will mount to the front of our base plate, providing us with a six pole round connector. So we have a connection point between our RV and our towed vehicle. There's this nice dust cover here in the back, which covers up all of our connection points on this connector. This provides us a nice clean installation and will make a very easy installation for us as well so we utilize the factory lights in our vehicle without having to worry about having magnetic tow lights mounted on the roof of our Cadillac while we're towing it behind our RV. As you can see, we already had our fascia off our vehicle and we started the installation on our wiring harness here by zip tying it to the base plate prongs here. And we have it wrapped with some electrical tape going back. So you'll have a nice clean installation here with the wires being covered in electrical tape so you don't have to worry about looking at the colored wires behind your bumper cover. If you're curious on how to get the wires through here, refer to our base plate video on our website and you can see how to remove the fascia to make your installation easier. All right, we'll start by separating our four wires here. Just gonna trim them back here a little bit so we can separate them like that. Okay. With those four separated, We'll strip off about a quarter inch of the insulation from all four wires. Okay. So we'll take our six pole flat here, take off the dust cover, slide it over our wire like so, so we can install it properly later. With our ground terminal here, one more GD loosened up. We'll take our white wire, which is our ground wire. We'll insert it into there and we'll tighten the set screw back up. Then we'll go to the ones for the tail lights. So one mark TM. We'll loosen that one up. And we'll take the brown wire. We'll install that in there. Tighten the set screw. Then we'll go with the one for the right turn signal, marked RT. We'll loosen that one. And that'll get the green wire. Tighten the set screw. Finally, that leaves us with the yellow wire, which is our left turn signal and stop light. We'll go to the one marked LT for left turn. Let's find that set screw on down too. Double check, make sure all the wires are secure. We'll take the dust cover back, slide it back over. Now we'll seal the dust cover and the wires up with some electrical tape. This will just help keep any dirt, debris, or moisture from getting inside and causing a poor electrical connection. I'll make sure we go all the way back to where the wires already covered with electrical tape so we don't have to see any of the colored wires coming through. Push it on back like so. Now we can install it onto our provided studs on our base plate here with some self-tapping screws. Now we can tighten them down fully. All right, so here's the rest of the wire that we have going from the front of the bumper to our six pole round connector. So we need to route this back towards the rear of the vehicle coming up by the driver's side taillight assembly. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and do this, making sure I avoid any sources of heat, such as the exhaust here, or any moving parts such as the drive axles or any of the suspension components or the steering components here. So just keep that in mind while you're doing that. 
So I'm gonna go ahead and do it, and then I'm gonna show you where I routed it when I'm done. Okay, so where our four pole flat wiring comes through from our fascia, we have it secured to our subframe here, right underneath the transmission with a couple zip ties. We can go ahead and cut off the excess now. Just kept it nice and secure on the subframe. Then we went over the subframe and underneath the rack and pinion. We secured it to the clip here that holds the factory fuel lines and brake lines in place. And we continued following those towards the back of the vehicle. So we used the other fuel line clip here, another one further down, and again, right in front of the gas tank at this point in time. The wire wraps around the gas tank and secured to the frame of the vehicle right here, about halfway through the gas tank. So it continues along the side and up towards the top, over the rear subframe here, secured to a factory wiring harness with a zip tie there, over the back half of the subframe, secured to the wiring harness again here, routes over the rear sway bar, is secured to the frame here where the exhaust hanger mounts to, goes over the exhaust, and then finally it's secured to a wiring harness here right below the left side of our bumper. Now we can pull this remaining wire in behind the tail light. To do that we're going to use a pull wire. Now we need to open our rear hatch to gain access to our tail lights. We'll remove this plastic panel retainer here on the side and we'll grab the panel here and pull it out towards us. Set it aside. Now we'll take these two Phillips screws out. And grab our tail light assembly and we'll pull it towards us. Just like so. Then we will undo this wiring harness here and we'll twist out these two bolts here and unplug it and we'll set the light assembly aside so we don't damage it. Now we'll take our pull wire that we're gonna to use to get our four pull flat wiring up behind the tail light here. I'm just using a piece of airline tubing. If you have something that's flexible but yet still somewhat rigid, such as a coat hanger, that'll work too. So we'll just push it down behind the gap here. So here's where our pull wire came through. As you can see right now, it's touching our exhaust that won't be an issue because when we pull our wire all the way up, it's going to be far enough away from it that it won't matter. So we'll take this end here, our four pole flat trailer wiring, and we will tape them together. Make sure we tape it nice and tight so it doesn't get snagged on anything and pull the wire off the pull wire when we're getting it through. So we'll take our pull wire and we'll pull over wire out here. I think at this point we can take off our pull wire and set it aside. Now just like we did on the front, we'll separate all four of our wires. We'll start with this white wire here. This is our ground wire. We'll measure off a little bit here, just like that. We'll cut off the excess. We'll strip off about a quarter inch of the insulation twist the wires together so it'll go into our ring terminal nice and easy. We'll take our provided ring terminal and we'll crimp it down onto the wire just like so. Take the provided self-tapping screw and we will ground it to the vehicle body. Just like that. Now we'll take our wiring connector here which operates the LED functions of our tail light assembly. And we will remove the electrical tape covering it so we can access the wires on the inside. Now that we have about six inches of the factory wires exposed from underneath the electrical tape, we can test and find out which of these wires controls our tail light function on our factory lights. So we'll turn our headlights on to do that 
and have a test light. We can see that the purple wire here in the middle controls our tail lights. So we'll go ahead and turn off our tail lights for the time being and make our connections. So we'll take our purple wire here, right about in the middle, and we'll cut it. Then we'll strip off a little insulation from both sides. We'll take some of the red spade connectors here. We'll install it on both ends of the wire. Crimp them down. Take one of our dial packs. We'll connect the spade terminal that goes to the vehicle in to one of the inputs. And the side that goes towards the taillight assembly to the output. We'll take the brown wire here, which is our taillight signal from the towed vehicle wiring harness. Cut off the excess. Set it aside in case we need it later. We'll strip off about a half inch of insulation on this one. Now the extra length of brown wire that's included with our kit, at this time we'll drop it down behind the bumper cover here, just like we do with the fish wire. Now the end of the brown wire that we just dropped down, we'll strip off about a half inch of insulation from it too. We'll take both brown wires now and we'll combine them. Take another one of these red ones. And we'll crimp it on. Then we'll plug this into the other end of our dial pack. Now with the help of an assistant, we'll have them step on the brake pedal. Off, on. Okay, perfect. Well, our test light, we've determined that this yellow and gray wire is our brake light signal circuit. So we're going to cut this one just like we did for the tail light wire. Strip off the insulation. We'll install our spade terminals on either end. Take our second diode pack here with the output side going towards the connector. Other end of the vehicle wiring there to one of the inputs. Now we will take our yellow wire, cut off the excess, strip off about half a quarter inch. I'll install our spade terminal on there, crimp it on, plug it into the final input side. Now this will control our turn signals and our brake lights on our Cadillac when it's in tow mode behind our RV. Now just like we did on the driver's side, We'll move our passenger side tail light at this time. Okay. Take our pull wire again and go down. Now our green wire, we'll take off some of the insulation here. We'll take the included blue butt connector, install it over the wire, and we'll crimp it in place. Take our green wire extension Strip off one end a little bit. Installed in the other end of the butt connector. We'll crimp it down too. We'll wrap the butt connector in electrical tape just to keep any moisture or dirt or debris out of there and causing a short. We'll take the other end, feed it on down next to the brown wire that we already dropped down. We'll feed behind the bumper cover here on both sides. And we'll secure it to this wiring harness there with the zip tie. And we'll tape our brown and green wire here to our pull wire that we dropped down from the passenger side. We'll take our pull wire, pull our wires on up, and we'll remove our pull wire from the two wires. Now we'll pull back the electrical tape that covers up the factory wiring on the passenger side, just like we did on the driver's side. Now we'll turn on our headlights and find out which wire controls our tail light circuit here. It's probably going to be this gray and brown one in the middle, but we want to double check. Okay, it is the gray and brown one in the middle. 
So now we'll cut the gray and brown wire here in the middle. Strip both sides of the wire back. Install two of our spade terminals onto it. Once it's been crimped down, we can take one of our dial packs. Again, with the output side going towards the connector. The other side, go to one of the inputs. We'll take our brown wire here, strip off the end of it. Install another other red spade terminals onto it. Crimp it. Install that to the other input side. Just like so. Now with an assistant pumping the brake pedal, we're gonna test and see which signal is our brake circuit here. It's probably gonna be this yellow and white one. Okay, it is a yellow and white one, so now we'll cut that wire and strip both sides back. Install two more of our red spade connectors. Take our final diode pack, output side towards the connector, vehicle end towards one of the inputs. We'll take our green wire, cut off some of the excess here, strip off some of the insulation, and install our last red spade connector, crimp it on, and install that to the other input side. All right, now if all of our electrical connections are made, we can reinstall our taillight housing. Clip in the LED portion here until it snaps into place, which it did. Take a reverse light bulb, reinstall it, then the factory turn signal bulb. We'll clip this back on where it was. Now we can get our light assembly back into position. Okay, with our taillight assembly pushed back into place, we'll reinstall the two screws that held it in. And put our trim panel piece back on. It'll snap into place. Then we have the clip to secure it. Sure, weather stripping sits around that like it should. We'll do the same on the driver's side now. Now that our installation is complete, we will go ahead and test our functions to make sure the vehicle's factory lighting works just fine, and when it's in tow mode and hooked up to the RV, the functions work as well. With our headlights on right now, you can see both of our factory tail lights are working just fine. I'll go ahead and step on the brake pedal and we'll see both brake lights illuminate. All right, now with our trailer simulator here, I'll go ahead and activate our tail lights and I'll activate our left turn signal or our left brake light because they are combined functions now since the vehicle's acting like a trailer. As you can see, that works just like the factory does. Now I'll do the right also works just like the factory does as well. And that completes our installation of the Blue Ox tow bar wiring kit with Ford diodes, part number BX8848 on our 2016 Cadillac SRX.